my pleasure to welcome Becca alumnus at UNESCO IHE. Uh, welcome Ibrahim. Thank you for having me. Could you introduce yourself? Well, my name is Ibrahim Toure. Uh, I'm uh, of African origin, uh, West African coast, but uh, American citizen by birth. Mm -hmm. And uh, a civil engineer and also water resources, uh, hydroinformatics specialist. Okay. Could you tell us more about your career path and current job position? Well, my career started uh, in the United States, mostly in the private sector, uh, where I was working for engineering consulting firms, where gradually I uh, stretched from being a project engineer in charge of design of infrastructure, urban drainage and water resource at large, and then gradually moved to a position of uh, developing applications to assist engineers in their computations which is what brought me to UNESCO IG a little bit later. Uh, currently, I went back to Africa about a year ago, a year and a half ago, and I'm an advisor to uh, the government of Ivory Coast in uh, matters of infrastructure and water resources and energy at large. Okay, that's a fantastic uh, position. Mm, thank you. Could you tell us more about the project which brought you back to Delft? Well, uh, as I took uh, this position about six months ago, uh, and uh, given the fact that Ivory Coast is a country that uh, is uh, basing its development on three pillars, infrastructure, water resources and energy, one of those projects that came uh, on my desk was one that involved uh, water quality and erosion issues in the economic capital of uh, the Ivory Coast, which is uh, Abidjan. And uh, going through the history of that project, I realized that uh, in 2011, back in the time where I was still a, a student here at IHE, there was a contract, an agreement signed between the government of Côte d'Ivoire, which is the real name in French, and UNESCO IHE slash Deltares slash Royal Hasconing to actually assist them and build their capacity in uh, solving major environmental issues related to uh, the lagoon, which is characteristic of the city of Abidjan. So, <laughs> you do it great right there. Could you tell us more uh, about some memories of, uh, of the time that you have been at uh, UNESCO? IHE. Well, there are many memories, uh, but if I had to select uh, a few, uh, I would select uh, the yoga community that we built while we were here. Since uh, IHE is a high pressure environment and a fast paced learning center, it was very interesting for a lot of people to sort of relax, if you will, in a yoga environment. And I was a yoga teacher during that, that time, which made me very popular around here. So I reveled in that popularity, I have to say. And to this day, I count many friends here. Okay. And um, what would you like to say to pers prospective students? I would say that uh, UNESCO IHE experience is unique. I would highly recommend it because uh, uh, it's very respectful of the diversity of cultures uh, without compromising the high... Uh, um, high quality of the education, the high level of uh, demand on, on the, on the comp future competencies of those who are going to come out of this institute. So I would highly recommend it to those who are interested in careers in water resources and who are interested in solving the many, many problems related to water around the world, now and in the future. Okay. Thank you for no. your time. You're welcome. And I Thanks wish you a uh, lot of success. Thank you. For, thanks for having me. And uh, hopefully I'll come back again and again uh, asking IG, UNESCO IG uh, to assist uh, any part of the world that might need uh, help in uh, building capacity and solving uh, complex water-related issues. Thank you. Thank you.